You know, it's possible to be a star and not be able to shine. When I was a sophomore in college, I took an American literature class, and the professor asked us to read a novel called One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Kesey. It's the story of an insane asylum, that's what it was called, and the inmates or patients in the asylum and the staff members, and it's not exactly clear who's the more insane, the inmates or the staff. Well, in this novel, there was a character that really drew my attention. He was a big, strong, powerful American Indian man. They called him Chief. And he was one of the inmates, one of the patients. And Chief was enormously powerful, but every once in a while, when something would confront him, he, this fog would roll in around him in the novel, and he would begin to feel really small and intimidated and unable to um, relate or deal with the situation at hand. Well, in this class I was taking, the professor asked us to write a paper on a metaphor in the novel. And I chose to write about the fog because I knew what the fog was. I'd experienced the fog all my life. The fog was a metaphor for fear and anxiety that would just overcome him, engulf him when he was intimidated. And so I wrote my paper about that. And then the day that we got our papers back, I was sitting at my desk. There are about 35 people in this class. The professor puts the paper down on my desk. It's folded in half. And I open it up, and on the front cover was a big, giant, red A. And underneath it, the word brilliant. And I was ecstatic. For a moment, I just began to gush joy energy. I was so excited. I felt so amazing that someone in a position of authority had recognized that I had some deep insight, some awareness that could be called brilliant. And that gushing lasted for about a minute. And then the professor at the front of the class said, okay, let's have a conversation about the metaphors that you've written about. And then she said, I'm especially interested in the fog. Who knows what the fog represents? And at that moment, I held my breath. I, I stopped breathing, and the fog began to roll in around me. I began to tense up and go into a freezing because I knew that she wanted me to talk. I knew that she wanted me to respond and talk about my perception of the fog, but I was beginning to be engulfed in my own fog. And she asked again, and I think she even called me my name and said, uh, Miss Zimmer, do you know something about this? And by that time, I was so frozen in my own fog, so tense, that I, I said nothing. I, I could say nothing. There I was. I was the one person in the class who really understood the fog. And it was an opportunity for me to shine, but I couldn't do it. At that point in my life, I didn't have the internal structure the strength, the stability inside to be able to speak up and share what I knew. I was a star who could not shine. I'm wondering if something like that has happened to some of you, if you've had an experience where you were the one in the room who knew the answer. You had the opportunity to shine and you couldn't do it. If you do and you'd like to tell your story, then I would invite you to make a little video and post it in our Speak and Shine Facebook group. 
and I will see you soon.